Hi, welcome to W. What can get for you? I'm gonna have one of your bison burgers and a medium fry with ketchup. Okay, just single uh, patty for the bison or double? Just a single patty. Okay, fries and sorry, what's the drink? Uh, no drink, just fries and ketchup. Okay. 10, 9, 10, window, please. Thank you. The taste test. So it looks like what they got is a base of some kind of mustard seed with onions. Mustard seed with onion, bison patty, tomato, lettuce, and mayonnaise. That is and W Bison Burger. It's not overpowering mustard taste. Like, like you think, seeing so many mustard seeds on there. It's really not overpowering at all. In fact, I don't even hardly taste anything mustardy. Um, mostly I taste the onions and the burger. And they taste good. Well, they taste like greasy spoon. I would like a bison patty in my normal matzah or team burger. Not that I think this recipe is bad, but I would like my regular recipe with a bison burger. If they sold bison burger, if you had your choice, and you could add bison or substitute bison patty for an extra buck fifty or something, I would do it because I am in support of bison industry. <laughs> if we're going to have ungulates on the landscape that we're farming, they might as well be the ones that belong there. So. Go down and try your uh, A&W Bison Burger. Unpaid ad. <laughs> You're welcome, A&W. Let's get real about this new A&W Burger. This sandwich, this Bison Burger. Because when I did the taste test the other day, I really wanted this thing to be successful at some kind of level. You know, because of the food politics involved, really, I feel like it would be healthier for us and healthier for the environment if we we're eating bison instead of cattle, you know, and maybe that's ungulatist or something <laughs> racist in some kind of ungulate way that I favor bison, but I really feel like at least here where the environment has basically evolved with the bison that it would be better it would be better unfortunately i feel like a and w's campaign with this new sandwich falls in the order of most fast food attempts and grocery store attempts and even you know restaurant attempts not so much all rest you know generalization about restaurants but in terms of meat as a bison meat as a straight product 
and bison meat and fast food it's always seems like the the vendor is self-sabotaging and in this case with A&W I mean look how bad it is <sighs> who are you marketing this sandwich to what is the big demographic that you think is going to enjoy the taste of cooked onions and mushroom or not mushroom but uh, mustard seeds god if you put mushrooms on there it only you know make it that much worse I'm surprised they're not there but <laughs> like all the other sandwiches you know and and the theme of the restaurant itself all cater to marketing to the largest demographic that includes children down to a very young age and this sandwich is definitely not going to appeal to children it's not going to appeal to teenagers it's not going to appeal to most adults <laughs> i don't think it's a weird combination it's like it's like almost fast food burger on top and this strange attempt at being um, a gourmet burger on the bottom and it doesn't come off well and I think it's it gives the bison burger patty a really poor shake and that's what I meant when I tried to say it in a kind way in the video when I said you know I wish that I could just order my favorite recipe from A&W my matzah burger my teen burger with the bison patty even if I have to pay it another dollar extra that I'm willing to do that I don't know how many others would be willing to do that but I'm, I'm not looking for some new recipe unless it's unless it's a killer recipe that's gonna work for all ages because otherwise you're not giving bison the fair shot that it needs to become uh, you know a bigger part of the industry so why even bother? Are you just trying to offload some bison? And you're like, and you're like here, taste this and, and let's put a shitty recipe to it so that they don't ask for more bison. Because this is all we got. <laughs> is that what it's about? You know? Because that seems to be the way it's, it's been uh, packaged and sold. It's my opinion. I don't think they gave the bison patty a fair shake. I think A&W messed up kind of upsets me because a and W's, you know, to me, it's one of the fast foods that I continue to support, one of the very few, and it's all because of nostalgic and sentimental connections that, you know, I have with that restaurant, but there's also a couple of burger recipes that I think are pretty, pretty good, you know, as far as fast food burgers go, and this is never going to be one of them. <laughs> I don't think for myself. Very few people. I, I, you know, I can never speak for everybody and say this burger is just a total flop. But I haven't heard anybody you know, around town here. And we have a, a pretty good population of people who are interested in the bison industry. I haven't heard anybody say, man, this was an awesome burger. It's just not the case. And it's not the patty's fault. It's the garnishing. You messed up, A&W. You need to fix it. You need to give Bison a better shake. That's my opinion.